And these two poems um, are going to be published in a journal called Arsenic Lobster Soon. And this is uh, this first one's called called Breakdown. I would say don't don't clap in between these. These first ones called Breakdown, uh, and the little epitaph on top of it. The dedication is for JB, which stands for John Berryman, basically, but it also stands for James Brown. Uh, I wrote it right after James Brown died. The other poem that I'm going to read is dedicated to a guy named Francisco Loyola and my mother. Um, Francisco used to, well, he just had a show here recently. He used to be a regular at the open mics. Um, breakdown for JB. Spontaneous combustions once predicted queef into the mouth of demotion. <laughs> Predicting combustions of the spontaneous phylum revokes their very license like a very license revoker. You failed me. Meaning, I will repeat your course next semester. These scantron bubbles idiotically reflecting my demoticon gawk. You're ruining the ending like a premature apocalypse. You suck at life. <laughs> <laughs> Your combustion lacks spontaneity, McDemsky. Thus, you are the lobster bib of poetry, reaching anticlimax in the generation of every unplanned pregnancy. Irregular weather patterns, meteor o logistics. I could have told you this was going to happen. Combustion so predictable. Can I take them to the bridge? Take them to the bridge. Fully dressed in an empty bathtub. For Francisco and for Peggy. <clears throat> From this clock tower, the people look like little ants, whispers my giant magnifier. Below the noose, at the trunk of the tree, they found two packs of cigarette butts, but they never found a body. Tonight, I want to do something permanent, something undoable. I want to kiss you and reveal my secret feelings for you. For a long time, I considered hating everything in the world. Instead, I decided to love it. All of it. Porcelain, impotence, the taste of wounds the moment before the mistake. We draw horses over and over again to keep the fires of hell at bay. Pretty horses, the kind that paralyze you beneath the generous weight of their bodies. I could have killed myself that night, but instead I plucked these shards from my flesh, licked the lacerations, fashioned this glowing mosaic. Excellent. Yeah!